How's it going everyone? Today we are going to be talking about my extracurricular commitments at Yale, which is one of the main reasons I haven't had the time to do YouTube. It is nearly impossible to do extracurriculars and academics and everything. But yeah, let's get started. So here are some of the main things that I've been doing at Yale. Uh, one of the first activities that I am a part of is Dance Works, which is basically this big dance group that has multiple dance choreographers and instructors. It's a very big group um, and we host a very big show every year. And for my first semester, I signed up for one dance. Um, it was a pretty solid group. We performed, we practiced uh, once a week. It wasn't too much of a time commitment, but the show was really fun. Um, everyone just had a fun time. Unfortunately, I will not be able to do it second semester because I have a lot of commitments for plays that I'm doing at Yale, which I'll talk about in a bit. I think you did have this year. Next up, I'm a part of the first year college council here at Yale. It's kind of like the student council. Um, I am one of the two representatives for Pearson College. Um, we were both voted in, and it's basically like the student council here at Yale. We organize many events for first years, like the first year formal, the first year Olympics, um, first year barbecue, just a lot of things like that. There's also like the sophomore council and the Yale College Council, and it gets very um, red tape. A lot of government kind of involved, but yeah, that's been a very fun commitment. Just weekly meetings, um, very chill, very fun. I'm also part of this really cool group called the TEDx Yale group. Early on in the year, we had like this kind of interview thing, this application thing, and luckily and gratefully, I was able to get in in the team and I am the designer for the team for like any posters or whatever um, I'm a student speaker coordinator a speaker coordinator and it's kind of a small group so everyone kind of does everything and we work together to collaborate in April we are basically going to be making a TED XEL conference so that is going to be very very fun I'm very excited for that um, but in the meantime we've been doing these small speaking salons where we have speakers come in and we organize these small events for people to talk um, but yeah it's basically TED talk with Yale it's very fun very very cool. I'm also part of the intramural sports here at Yale. I've done soccer and I was going to do indoor soccer but we didn't have indoor soccer this year which really really sucks. Um, I did some volleyball and I'm hoping to do badminton. Intramural sports are very fun because it's not a huge time commitment but it's also very fun because you compete with other residential colleges and there's just so much pride, so much fun. Uh, it's really really chill. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I tied it! I'm a part of the Asian American Cultural Association and also a part of the Indonesian Yale Association and also a part of the Questbridge chapter and the first generation low income chapter here at Yale. Honestly, I don't have any official positions here, but I come to events, I help plan events out and it's just very chill and very cool to be a part of people who also share the same identity as you. I was also a vice committee chair for YMUN, the Yale Model United Nations, which is really fun. Every year we host a conference. We hosted a conference early in January and my committee was the Civil Rights Committee and we basically facilitated a Model United Nations simulation with a bunch of high school students and it just went really, really well. And lastly, the main um, extracurricular besides YouTube, which I try to do, that I've been doing at Yale is the Yale Drama Coalition, which is basically theater at Yale, which is also the Yale Dramatic Association. So this year I will be in four plays and I've also helped out for other plays like being part of the set crew. I really love acting. So semester one, I was part of a play called Macbeth, which um, is really, the, the story is actually really funny because I wasn't, I didn't want to audition for any plays first semester because I wanted to ease my way into acting, but um, the actor for the play dropped off last minute, so I decided to take the role and I only rehearsed like three times before we actually performed. It went really well. I love the family. Um, it was a really funny play. Also really deep and cool play too, talking about gun violence and the importance of it. And uh, it was just really cool, really awesome experience in a smaller stage setting. Now one of the biggest time commitments at Yale is the Yale Dramatic Association. It's basically like the official big stereotypical cool um, big stage theater here at Yale. There's a lot of red tape involved. There's a lot of money involved in it. We perform at the Yale University Theater. Um, so I was lucky enough to be the only first year for the Yale Dramat Spring Main Stage fucking A. And we have a director from New York who comes, Adrian, he was such an awesome director. Uh, he comes here. He basically treats us, the students, as professionals because we have, every day we have at least four to five hours of rehearsals and there were days where we had like fight calls and choreography stuff. Um, and just a lot of things where a lot of hours were required, very long. Theater at Yale is very fun because there's so many plays that you can audition for, but it's also very stressful because there's the audition process and the callback process, and everything can be overwhelming, but theater is also very fun and very, is a huge stress reliever for me, and I love it so much. And I will also be a part of two more shows, Sonder 
and Radium Girls, which is the Yale Dramat Freshman Show, which is a show put up only by first years at Yale. So those shows are gonna be awesome. They're gonna be fun. I have my lines memorized, hopefully. And I'll also be a part of a short film here at Yale. Um, so yeah, I love the entertainment field. I love doing theater and acting. It's very fun, but it takes up a lot of time. Going off of that, I will be studying abroad in Bath, England for this theater program, and I can also get credits from it, but I'll talk about that more in a future video. But yeah, theater is a big time commitment at Yale. I'll probably go more specific in another video, like a whole entire video about theater because it is very intense, it is very in depth, and there's so much to cover with theater. But yeah, generally speaking, um, there are so many hours of rehearsals every week. You have to memorize your lines, you have to have good chemistry with the cast, you have to be able to make decisions in acting. But yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of extracurriculars here at Yale. Um, I've been pretty involved, it's been fun, um, and hopefully next semester I am not going to be doing four plays in a year, that is way too much. If you have any more questions or anything, please comment down below and maybe I'll make videos for the specific extracurriculars in another video to talk about it more in depth. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, peace out.